Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at closed deletions and we're gonna approach it from a beginner's perspective. I've got my iPhone here, so you can see it on the right hand side and here on the left hand side we just have a web browser and it's basically a super memo. Here it says it close deletion, close questions, close item, item in the fill in the blanks form. There's actually an extensive Wikipedia page on this, I found that out, I did not know that before looking into this. But basically, as you can see here in the Wikipedia image, you have some portion of text and then you have an underline or something that's highlight. That part gets, um, people call it fill in the blank. So you'd basically have an empty section and then you would have to figure out what's supposed to be there, right? So if you've been using Anki for a while, you have learned about closed deletions. But if you're new, it's going to be new for you. You haven't seen this dot syntax where the word is being omitted or replaced by uh, this. So it can be any word. It can be multiple words. And we're going to here on uh, my iPhone, we can see I have a deck here. We're going to go into it and we're going to create a new flashcard. And um, let's say yes in uh, Japanese. Right, and we're gonna add a colon and we're gonna say change a keyboard layout and I'm just gonna say it. Hi, okay, that didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work on iOS, so we'll just type it out there. And we're not gonna put anything in the extra. So now we have some text and if we preview it, we don't, we're gonna get this error, no close one found on card. Please either add a close deletion or use the empty. So this error, you might see it again in the future and the number might change depending on how, how many close deletions you have. So we don't have any, so we're gonna mark this high and then uh, click the three dots there. Bam, and you're gonna see it changed that to bracket, bracket, and then C1, which is the first close. So you can have multiple ones and then colon, colon, and then the word. So let's take a look at the preview now. You can see it's blue, it's highlighted, right? But if we flip the card, this is the front. It shows us the bracket and dot, 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 because now it's omitted. So you have to fill in the blanks. Yes, in Japanese is high, look at it, bam. So you can see it's a nice way to uh, remove uh, parts in existing text. Um, now I added another one, C2, and uh, let's save that. If we go here, we can look at it. Yes, in Japanese is high, click easy. And then now it's omitting the left hand side. Dot, dot, dot in Japanese, high. So it, yes, easy, bam. And um, if you look at that, you think, okay, yeah, that's easy, but uh, why would I use it? Well, imagine you have a lot of text. So maybe you're studying medicine or studying some other language or studying some subject where you have a lot of text from beforehand. You could basically go and copy some text and uh, add that. So for example, now we're just gonna copy this and then we're gonna add it, paste that text, bam. And now we have some text so we can occlude and now we just have a little bit of text, so it doesn't look like it's helping much. Yeah, it means... Okay, this one is a little bit poor, uh, so it's not obvious. Um, but we can uh, edit it, and then after our keyword, in this case, no, we can add um, colon colon, and then add a hint to the card. So we can say, what does this mean? question mark. Bam, save that. And then you can see now in the blue, we get our hint. So what does this mean? No, and then easy. And then here, this one is not so good. Let's change that one too. We'll add another hint. We're gonna say how to say, how to say this in uh, Japanese. No, how to <laughs> stay. No, that's not what I meant to say. How to say, how to say this in Japanese. And that's actually for the sake of completeness. We're gonna add a question mark here and then save that. No, bam, you see it, yeah, easy, bam. So you can copy more text and then just do that. Let's do a, a few more. And just to show you that uh, you can add as many closed deletions as you want. So let's take let's take these ones and uh, go back here. We're gonna click add and we're let's add, actually add a heading. We're gonna call this greetings in Japanese. And because we love emojis, we're going to add a flag there. And then let's paste that text in. Bam. Let's pick that uh, morning there. Add a close deletion. And let's add a close deletion there. And let's uh, put this on the same line. And then we'll add a close deletion. Let's take a look at that. 
you can see uh, greetings in Japan and then we get the other ones we see them but we focus on the one at the top good morning that was easy and let's say we forgot it we can say again so you can see you can basically use this for lists as well and uh, reuse text and uh, yeah this is a way to save time if uh, let's say for some reason you decide you want to group some of them you could just change this to c2 i changed it there you can see now both of them good morning and then what's next to it also has uh, c2 there right so let's add a emoji there to add the sun there you can you can see easy so we actually have reviewed the top one for now but now you can see we see the sun and then we see two so we have those are grouped so they they're two different keywords they're hidden um and it's uh, good morning hi gozaimas yeah so uh that's uh, close deletions and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i'm trying to go through some of the basic stuff in anki and i'll probably be using iphones more so please do make sure to like if you don't like this kind of video whatever uh, your preference is i would love to get more feedback from you guys and also for everybody else who's watching and not subscribed i know you some of you are not subscribed Many of you are actually not subscribed, so please do smash the subscribe button to support the channel. And it's totally free, you don't have to pay anything. Have a great uh, day, morning, whatever. Bye!